This is Retro Hunter K here coming at you with another uh, pickup video. Um, everything I'm going to show here comes from the PRGE swap meet down in Portland. It's about two and a half hours uh, away from where I am at. So pretty long drive, but totally worth it. I got a lot of great uh, deals. At the same time, I got three rare complete in box uh, games um, and didn't even spend a dime. So. To me, that is so awesome. So aside from getting great deals, I love going to these events because this is where I can build that connection, you know, for further uh, trades, you know, building friendships at the same time, meeting vendors, you know, getting to know them uh, at the same time, meeting up with, uh, you know, a few um, fellow YouTuber. Uh, pretty awesome. I met up with the Game Hunter. I'll link their channel below, but it was nice to meet you guys. Uh, Hope to run into you guys again in the future. Uh, but yeah, meeting people is, is great. Uh, deals are great. Um, I don't know what else to say, but if you guys haven't, make sure you go to one, go to one of these uh, expo around your town, your state, whatever. So here is my strategy when going to these expo. So number one, I always stay uh, until the end. That's one thing that I have to do. Number two, I do not buy anything when the door is open, okay? Uh, number three, I will go to every single booth, visit every single one when it's first open, talk to the people, uh, see what they have, get a feel of who they are, what they uh, what they're mainly want to collect at the same time. Are they cool with trade? You know, that's that's mainly what I'm doing. notes of all that, and then once. Uh, you figure out where the stuff uh, that you want for your collection are at, which people you want to deal with, which table or vendor has the great deals, and then you narrow it down and go to those people. All right. So uh, after that, what I do, once I figure out which table has the best deals, uh, who is good in trades, uh, I make sure that I hit them up first. So I found three actually. Two of them has really great uh, buy and sell deal. Um, one of them was really good at trade. They actually did uh, straight across even trade. Man, so if you run into those, you got to make sure you take advantage of that. So I did. Everything that I brought pretty much was trade to that one booth. I, I cleared my whole backpack uh, pretty much trading that the one booth. Um, so... Um, let me just go in real quick. Uh, this is the first uh, one that I went to right here. Uh, this right here was more of, uh, you know, it was closing time and they want to push everything out the door. So I guess that's the, the last uh, tip that I want to give you guys is that the reason why I stay till 5 o'clock is so that that's when you can get the best deal. You know, people there, mostly the private not, uh, vendors, not the businesses. I would go to all the private uh, vendors and I see if I can get a deal because you know they want to push all this stuff out. They don't want to bring it home and these are the doubles and they're willing to give it cheap, which I did. I found two places that gave uh, out really great uh, last uh, closing deal. So I'm going to show you real quick the first one. Um, I think I spent a total from this lot was around $80, okay? So $80, I got some uh, cases, some boxes uh, to, to build my complete, and then I got a pretty rare one at the end. So first off, I got this right here, Armor Armor Core 3. This is, you know, just a case and manual, which I need it. Next, I got Fur Fighters, an interesting one that I haven't seen before, but this is just a case and manual. And then... This is an awesome game, Dark Cloud. This is actually just a case in manual also. Uh, I actually got the uh, disc for it, so I thought, hey, why not? They threw these uh, in for free, so I'm gonna take it. All right, uh, next here are some uh, N64 and Super Nintendo um, empty boxes and manual, basically box and manual only. Um, I have the cart already, so I just pretty much got these to complete my collection. First off, we have Doomsday uh, Warrior. This one right here now is complete in box. Uh, I bought the manual and the box. I think they are like two bucks or something like that. So you can't go wrong with that. Two bucks? Come on. 
All right, next, same thing, Mission Impossible. You know, box and manual, two bucks. Damn. All right, here you go again. Here's another one, Pilot Wings. You know, it's not a, you know, these games are not, you know, like rare or expensive game or anything, but box and manual for a couple bucks? Man, I'll pick that up, you know, all the time. I'll pick up all the time, you know, any day. All right. Next, we have Spider-Man uh, Venom Mas um, sorry, Maximum Carnage. So there you go. This one is actually, uh, you know, $30, $40 games complete in box. But once again, a couple bucks. Man, why not? Here's uh, one that I haven't seen before, but it's definitely one that uh, I need for uh, my uh, Super Nintendo collection, which is Super Bowling. Interesting artwork, but uh, again, you know, two bucks. Lastly, <clears throat> Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So I have the cart already. Now it's just the box and manual. Two bucks. All right. Here's a Nintendo one, uh, Anticipation. But this one is like, look at that minty condition box. You know, it's not an expensive game or anything, but it's just nice to get the box. No manual though, but I think I have the manual. So that's pretty awesome. All right, now this is uh, interesting right here. Uh, you know, this is you know one of those uh, you know cart that they uh, that they uh, Nintendo made. They have the Super Super Mario Bro, the Duck Hunt, and the Track Meet. Well, um, you know they didn't have a box for it, but this guy right here is for some reason he said he has a friend that works for Nintendo, and his friend kind of did a repo of it of the of, not repo but you know just to did it so then it can be store. Uh, along with the the Nintendo collection, so I thought that was cool. Yeah, once again, two bucks just for the box. It's in pretty much is pretty much brand new. I have to to break all the creases and everything and put the game in. So that's pretty cool, you know. Now I can put this along this uh, along with my other completing box Nintendo uh, on the shelf, and it'll look nice because that's pretty awesome right there. Look at that. All right. Okay, uh, this one right here actually uh, has the game in the box. One that I've been looking for, it is an uncommon one. Uh, it did not have the manual, but it's the MC Kids, and it's in awesome condition. This one right here, I believe, goes, if it's complete in box, it can go up to 50, 60 bucks, but um, he, was, he was charging me only $10, so uh, that's pretty awesome. $10 for, for uh, MC Kids uncommon game, that is pretty awesome right there. With, look at the condition, it's like mint. So that's pretty awesome right there to add to my collection. All right. So lastly, uh, the best one of all right here um, is the Turtle in Time uh, Not for Resale uh, demo only. So when I first came in the door, I was eyeing this from the beginning. I was just hoping, you know, throughout the day, no one will pick this up. So uh, he got this post, I believe, for $120, which is, you know, a little bit. Uh, below retail, I think retail is around 130. So he was posting that he was putting out there for 120. Um, I basically tell him, okay, I'm gonna take all those cart there with this game here. Um, would he be would he willing to do it for 80? And he says, he thought about it, thought about it for a while. You know, we went back and forth a little bit. He says 100. Um, you know, he said it's 100, I said 80, and then I said, yeah, I, I, I was just BS, I, I was telling him, I spent most of my money throughout the expo already, I only have 80 bucks, and this will add to my collection, it'll go to good home, so he ended up giving me, um, this for a total of 80, so pretty awesome, he's a pretty cool guy, um, he, he to him, uh, he says, he don't really care much for not resale, so he was happy that uh, I picked it up and it's gonna go to a good home. So that's pretty awesome. So thank you, right there. All right, so then my second deal, uh, this is actually, uh, once again, it was closing time. It was like 4.40 or 4.30, one of those time, and um, it's a private vendor, and he just wanna get rid of all his stuff. Um, to him, he didn't care much. Uh, he just wanted to get rid of the stuff. He said that he looked this up in price charting, but make him offer. So, um, here's a few things right here that I'm gonna go with. I can't remember exactly how much I spent, 
but I think I spent a total of uh, $90. So, you know, $90, not as good as the last deal, but still a pretty good deal for $90. So, first off, uh, I'm just going to go to more of the common Nintendo that I do not have in my collection. Um, right here, first we got Kornoff. I'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm pronouncing that right, but I do not have this, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, add this to my collection. So that's the first one. Next we have uh, Heavy Shredding. This is a common game, but I do not have it, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. And then we have, uh, look at this, <laughs> quarterback. So I think this is uh, John uh, Elway, um, uh, quarterback here. Very common game. Believe it or not, I do not have it. So <laughs> he kind of threw this uh, this one in right here. All right, next here are some uh, more of the, the rare ones. But uh, one that I've been looking for out in the wild for a while now. Uh, and it's north and south. And very nice label condition. So very happy to have this. I believe this is uh, around $30 game. So that's pretty awesome there. Uh, next, uh, another one that I've been looking for, uh, Aero Agrobatic, uh, Agrobat, sorry, 2. A $30 game, but one that I do not have, so pretty happy to add this to my collection. Another rare one uh, is um, one that I've been looking for and also add to my collection is Strike Gunner STG. Another around $20, $30 games, so pretty awesome. And then uh, two more, actually three more. Um, oh, yeah, another, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle RK2. Super Street Fighter 2. And lastly, uh, one that I have the cart already. Uh, I just need the box and manual, but since uh, it was a great deal, I, I bought it anyway. So I'm most likely I'll just um, trade off the cart or whatever on this one. But this is, is complete in box. It's Super Godzilla. And uh, I spoke to the guy, uh, guy a little bit. He said this game was not good. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to give it a try. But I just want to have it in my collection. But it is complete in box with the manual. So yeah. So that's pretty much it. All that was pretty much uh, $90. Um, so not, not the greatest deal. But it is still a great deal. All right, now here we're getting in uh, more into the the rare uh, good stuff. So uh, this booth right here, uh, once again, it was closing time, and they got some great uh, games complete in box: Nintendo, PS2, and a Super Nintendo um, that I uh, needed for uh, the box that I needed for my collection, and uh, he was willing to do it cheap. So uh, this right here comprised of a trade and a sale and some cash but uh first off we got this mega man 4 so he sold me straight across mega man 4 complete in box with the manual in really awesome condition for 40 dollars and it, and all because it was closing time and he was just willing to unload his stuff so 40 dollars mega man 4 complete in box that is crazy so Right at the bat there, 40 bucks. Man, that is awesome. All right. Next, this is actually the uh, same guy, but this is like a trade that I did with him uh, earlier in, uh, in that day. So, uh, I think I traded him a TurboGrafx system. Okay. So, I value the TurboGrafx system around, you know, 100 bucks with all the cords and con one controller. Uh, in turns, I got this right here. So, first off, I got uh, Neo Contra complete one that I do not have in my collection so I'm pretty happy to add this and pretty much I want to after this I'm probably gonna put it in play because I love Contra all right next we have uh, Naruto uh, class of ninja 2 now this is actually seal I don't know if you see it but this is seal and um, you know I think I already have this open um, but I know what Retro uh, Remix Nation, hey, I know you're going for the full set. If you need this, uh, let me know. I can trade you something for it or uh, send it your way. Let me know. And then, pretty rare one you can uh, that you it's hard to find out in the wild for the PS2, and that is Hunting Ground. 
this right here is a seventy to eighty dollar game complete in box. So pretty nice to add this to my PS2 collection. And then lastly, I just needed the box and manual. Unfortunately, no manual, but the box. And that is uh, Pocky and Rocky. So in very nice condition. So I put my game in there. I just needed the manual now to complete. Pretty awesome there. All right, now. Um, the last three rare games that you guys all been waiting for and one that I'm very proud, very happy to add to my collection without spending anything uh, at all. So this booth in particular, they were doing trade even across the board. They were using price charting uh, for my games and their games to do the, the trade. So I thought that was very, very fair of them to do that. All right. So uh, first off, we got Dragon view all right so dragon view a two hundred dollar games and um you know i trade this uh you know some pretty rare games on my end too but cart only to get this one right here so dragon view very happy to add to my collection this one though i actually already have the cart i just need the box and manual so most likely i will be trading off my loose cart if anybody out there looking for one let me know so this is the first one all right, uh, second, one that uh, my wife loves. She loves this series, uh, and that is Harvest Moon. So pretty much I got this for my wife, um, for me too, but mostly for my wife. She loves the Harvest Moon series. Uh, she played every single one um, since you know the Game Boy Advance, uh, all the way up to, the I believe, the Wii. So that's pretty awesome to finally get it complete in box. Of really nice condition that is pretty awesome to find this outside in the wild is is, is is not a chance so to get this man I'm so happy and see is super happy and I'm definitely gonna uh, put this in and try it out uh, but I think for her uh, she's gonna be playing this quite a bit so there you go very happy about this all right lastly this is for me uh, super super rare one very fun too if you guys haven't tried but uh, this is also complete in box one that I do not have very happy wild guns look at that guys complete in box you cannot find this out in the wild and if you you know and if you go to the retro store you're looking at six six uh, seven hundred bucks for this kind of condition complete in box so pretty awesome right there to be able to trade for these uh, rare games man what more can I uh, what more can I say you know I'm a happy camper so all right guys that's pretty much it you know I, I'm so happy that I went to this event um, you know it, it turned out better than I expected and I'm definitely gonna be going to this event again uh, and I know there's a few more coming up uh, around my area I'll be going through that too so if you guys ever is in the uh, you know Washington Oregon area hit me up all right guys so that's pretty much it thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time happy hunting